All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here. Today we have a watch from Oceaneva. Um, this watch came out to me by way of Three Hand Media. Ivan uh, got this one going on a watch tour. So I'll leave a link down below to his channel. And I do believe this is going to go out to a few other channels out there on tour. I know uh, Chris at Marshall Time is going to get it. So I'll leave a link to his channel down below also. So let's go ahead and check this one out. Pretty cool uh, diver's chronograph here. This is the Wave Racer uh, from Oceaneva. Now these are available for pre-order over at their website. I do believe they're right around $249 or $269. Forgive me for not knowing exactly off the top of my head for that, but really good looking watches. Now, Oceaneva are famous for making dive watches. That's pretty much all they make across the board. I'll leave a link to their website and you can go check those out. They've got some really great uh, quartz um, GMT, almost like a Rolex GMT Master II homages over there, they're, but they're 1250 meter waterproof watch. Um, and on their, on their website, it's very interesting. They have a video where they actually test one of their 1250 meter divers to 125 bar. So they truly pressurize it to um, 1250 meters and they actually leave it in the container for a few minutes. So their watches are definitely waterproof. Now this is rated at 500 meters of, is what they're calling this one. And um, so it's definitely a dive watch, but if you look at it, it definitely has this racing feel to it. Um, definitely like a Daytona or something like that. But let's go ahead and talk about the watch, talk about the specs and talk about the movement they have inside this watch. So you have a 42 millimeter case from side to side, not including the pushers or the crown, of course. 49.5 lug tip to lug tip, so just under 50 millimeters, which is a sweet spot there. You have a 22 millimeter lug opening, and you have 14 millimeters of thickness from the bottom of the case, the top of the sapphire crystal on the watch. The case work is done very nicely, as you guys can see, mostly brushing throughout, although you do retain a very nice beveled edge here that comes up under this fixed tachometer style bezel. And just because I said it there, yeah, it's a fixed bezel, it's a tachometer style bezel. So that's gonna be used for measuring miles an hour over a known distance. Go ahead and get that um, started there, the chronograph. So you, this'll basically let you know mile an hour, that's what you can use this for. Um, like I said, measuring over a distance, you can also use it for fuel calculations, uh, stuff like that involved in racing. So go ahead and stop it. Go ahead and reset this. This is running a Ronda Z50 quartz movement. So it's a good quartz movement. Ronda is famous for the quartz movements they make out there. Always very well built. I do believe this thing has like a 50 month power reserve or excuse me, power is what I read on that. I may be a little bit off on that, but it definitely the battery is going to last you a long time. Bring it up here a little closer so we can take a look at the dial. You have applied indices on this dial. Very nicely done. Nice, small, nice loom plots. This watch is full of BGW9 Super Luminova, so stick around to the end for that loom shot. Um, the Oceaneva there at the top of the dial with the fork, just uh, below the 12 o'clock position, there your Wave Racer Swiss movement, and your 500 meters or 1,640 feet of water resistance. With the Ronda Z50, also you guys can see you get a date complication down here at the six o'clock position. So that's really nice to have. Good looking watch, a very solid bracelet on this watch, guys. Solid links on the bracelet, bracelet, excuse me, two uh, button pushover, you know, two button uh, release clasped here. You have a solid case back with solid uh, bars or solid um, in links on there. Very nicely done. You do have these nice solid machine bars on here. Very positive um, uh, clasp assembly here on the watch. Works really, really nicely. Oceana, Oceaneva, excuse me, wave racer there on the back of the watch. Lets you know you have a Swiss movement in this watch and then you have the 500 meters of water uh, resistance and sapphire glass is being used on this watch. So very, very good looking watch. They've got this in a few different dial variation, dial colors available out there. This obviously being um, what I call like the teal blue, but really, really good looking watches. Um, in the box or in the packaging down here, you guys can see it came in this nice leather watch roll. Uh, you do get a wipe cloth, you get your warranty card and um, your instructions in the uh, roll down there. So let's go ahead and pause it for just a second, get this watch on my seven inch wrist and then stick around for that loom shot. All right, so the watch sits very well on my seven inch wrist. Just under 50 lug to lug means it's not gonna slop really over my wrist too much. Now, this is not adjusted for me, guys. It's a big, big bracelet here on the watch and I'll show you, you got a lot of room to work with. Um, now, I do think this is probably gonna fit up to an eight, eight and a half inch wrist, possibly with that much room left over, but definitely a good looking watch, definitely gets the eye. Um, I do wanna note to you guys, these two pushers are non-screw down pushers. You do have a screw down crown on here, but you do have non-screw down pushers, which, it makes me question a little bit that 500 meters of water resistance, but then also going to their website and seeing them testing their watches right there on the website. 
I don't really want to question it too much. I know that seals nowadays, they can make really good seals nowadays and whatnot, but although these do look like they would be screw down pushers, they are not. So, all right, let's kill the lights and check out the loom. All right, so like I said, BGW9 is being used here on this watch. So go ahead and loom it up and see what we have here. So you always get that nice uh, soft blue glow with BGW9. So very cool what you would expect now it's interesting they did loom the entire bezel insert and it's a you know it's a more of a tack meter style watch not a diver's watch but it definitely looks cool having that blue light up there on the bezel insert so guys check them out over there at the website these are available for pre-order right now you can get a really really good deal you can save 270 dollars over the regular price if you get these on pre-order over at the oceaneva website so all right guys you like the video give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom and if you've not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do. Please do. Thanks, guys.